<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to Good Clean Gamer where it's always good and it's always clean. Okay, so we have been doing some instructional videos on how to get some achievements for Kingdom. Now I'm going to show you a very quick video, It'll only take me a few minutes here, because it's something that I just kind of figured out by happenstance, and the game doesn't even tell you how to do this, and that is how to reset your emblem and your colors, and then lock them in. So, wow! I don't know why the game doesn't tell you how to do this, and you may be able to Google it somewhere, but I'm going to give you a quick little video on how to do this so that you can make sure you can choose your colors. Well, you don't get a choice, but anyways. Um, you can keep trying until you get something you like and lock it in place for every time you do a run-through of this game. So, what happens is... Ooh, we're at the start of the game here, okay? And if you go and press Escape and get into the menu screen, you will see that your banner up here. And when you scroll over it, you'll see an X. So what happens here is that when the banner is there, it means that lo it's locked in place. So every time you start a new game, you will have those colors, that banner, that symbol, that's what it is. You want to get rid of that because you want to do a different one. Here's what you do. You click X, and you click X again and that will take it right out of the shield. So that means that for this run, you're still what you are, but once you do that, you restart, and you'll be a different color. Now she's purple. It's glorious, but maybe you don't like purple. Maybe you want a different color. So as long as the shield is empty, when you go into the screen, which right now. As long as the shield's empty, every time you restart the game, you'll get a different color. Now it's kind of pinkish. That doesn't make my case, because it looks kind of similar to the, to the purple on the last one. Don't be doing this to me. Let's try it one more time, just to see if we get a different color, because that is what happens. It just was kind of silly there. Alright, one more restart to show it off. Here we go. Now we got red. <laughs> kind of looks like the pink, which kind of looks like the purple, but still. It will actually reset to a different color and a different emblem. So, now, let's say you like that color and you go ahead and you find you like the emblem. Now, how do you lock it in place? Well, when you have an empty banner and you start the game... Do, 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 eat your grass. Yes, eat your grass. What you'll do is you'll get your nice little coin, get things started, you'll start your fire, and we'll recruit these guys just so we have some archers to defend us. They can get cracking. I'll go recruit a few more, because we actually have to wait till we can upgrade the keep one more time, which will not happen until the start of day two. So we're just going to mosey on through. Let our archers do a little recruiting, or killing bunnies while I recruit. Oh, oh there he is. He was hiding in the trees. Alright, you take that. And we'll just go back here. Maybe we'll pull a few deer in here so that our archers can kill the deer. Because we have to wait till day two anyway. Good shooting. Nice. All right, so you want to have you want to make sure you have a little bit of coin. Cuz you'll need at least 6 coin after this upgrade. So this should do it. We'll let our archers go and hunt a little bit more. Just need a few. Hmm. <clears throat> Shoot that deer, come on. Oh, now he's gonna run away. I'm taking you back. I want that coin, so you're coming back with me. <clears throat> come on, terrible shot. There you go. So we have more than enough coin to take care of what we need in order to get your emblem locked into place. And all we're doing is waiting for day two. We have a 
couple archers going strong. Yeah, they're shooting away. So, we are just waiting for this lovely evening to finish. By tomorrow, we'll be able to upgrade this keep. And you'll be able to see how to do it. Good shooting. Oh, these poor little bunnies. All they're trying to do is graze a little grass. No worries about the enemy attack. We're just going to have one guy come from either side. They will handily be destroyed by my archers. But sure, I'll get you a couple more. Just because I have guys milling around doing nothing. We'll give them a bow. And a purpose! One bow! Get it before the monsters come and eat you up! Remember, you must protect me. I am your king! There he goes. Oh, look at that. Two good shots. What about on this side? Can you guys do it? Are you guys able? I think this archer already took him out. No problem. With some coins to boot. Alright, so we're coming up at the end of day one. Day two. Alright, here we go. So, we can upgrade our keep. And when we upgrade the keep here, you'll see this nice little banner go on the, the pole. And this one is a lovely red and black with a purple dragon or some kind of serpent creature. Now, if you want to lock in this symbol, all you have to do is spend three coin. One, two, three. And it will do a little ching -a -ling, -a ling ling and flash and a little flashy flash. And that means it's locked in. So now when you hit escape, you will see that banner is locked in to your menu screen. What that means is that henceforth, every time you restart a new game, you will have that banner, those colors, that's that. And then, of course, if you don't like those after a while or you want to change things up, all you have to do is double-click it to empty out that shield again. And then, of course, you can reset it again if you want and then you can empty it again if you want and you can waste all your coins doing that over and over and over again but that would just be silly anyways that is how you reset your emblem that is how you lock in your emblem so for anybody who's kind of wondering if they can why they can't get any different colors or how to do that that's how you do it folks so that's it for that little video. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can follow me at twitch.tv backslash goodcleangamer, and you can find my YouTube videos by going to my Twitch channel and clicking on the YouTube link in my social section below. So thanks for all the support, everybody. It's been wonderful helping you. Have a good one. Ciao.